Hey there, and welcome to your Spreadsheet Life Google Sheets Challenge 3. In this week's challenge, I will be testing your skills at lookup functions. I will give you four questions from easy to hard. And of course, you can find a link to download this spreadsheet in the description below. That way, you can pause the video before each question and attempt it yourself before you watch me do it. Okie dokie, if that sounds good to you, then let's get started. For question number one, your goal is to write a formula to get back the phone number for a selected employee. Now there are actual several functions that you can use to complete this task, but for this one, I recommend using the VLOOKUP function. And that's because the employee names or lookup values are in the first column of the data range, so VLOOKUP is a great choice here. That being the case, selecting cell F5, enter the formula, equals VLOOKUP function. And for the first argument, you want to select the lookup value, which in this case is the selected employee name. Now for the second argument, you want to select the entire data range. And for the third argument, you want to enter the column number for the column containing the possible return values. So you want back the phone number for the selected employee and the phone numbers are in the second column, so you enter in a two for this argument. Finally, you want to enter a false for the fourth argument to force the VLOOKUP function to search for an exact match. Now, you can close parentheses and hit enter, and you get back the phone number for the selected employee. Awesome. Let's go ahead and move on to question two. Now for question two, your goal is to write a formula to get back the employee for a selected phone number. This is essentially the reverse of what we just did. To solve this problem, I recommend using the xlookup function. And that's because the xlookup function doesn't require the lookup values to be in the leftmost column like the vlookup function does. So it makes more sense to use the xlookup function in this case. That being said, Go ahead and select cell F5 and enter the formula equals xlookup function and then select the lookup value for the first argument. Next, you want to select the range of lookup values for the second argument and you are looking for a specified phone number so you want to select all of the phone numbers as the lookup values. Finally, select the range of possible return values for the third and final argument. You can then close parentheses hit enter, and you get back the employee based on the selected phone number. Fantastic. That wraps up question two, so let's jump on over to question three. For question three, the goal is to calculate the letter grade based on the provided exam score. If you look at the data table that we have here, you can see the minimum score required to achieve each letter grade. So if a student wanted to earn a B plus, for example, their exam grade would have to be at least an 87. Now to solve this problem, you again have several functions to pick from, but I'd say that the easiest one to use here would actually be the lookup function. The lookup function works when your lookup values are sorted in ascending order like we have here. The exam scores or lookup values are listed in order from smallest to largest so the lookup function will work just fine. That being said, go ahead and select cell F5 and enter the formula equals lookup function and then select the lookup value for the first argument. Now for the second argument, you can go ahead and select the entire data range. The lookup function will search for an approximate match of the lookup value within the first column of the selected range. In other words, it will look for the value that is closest to and less than or equal to the lookup value. So the lookup value of 85 will match up with the value of 83 because 83 is the closest number to 85 and it is also less than or equal to 85. Now what about the return value? The lookup function will get the return value from the last column of the range you select for the second argument. In this case, the last column contains the letter grades, which is what you want. And now you can close parentheses and hit enter. The lookup function does its thing and it returns the letter grade based on the specified exam score. 
Now, if you are still confused about how the approximate match works, I really encourage you to play around with the exam score number to see which letter grade is returned. And once you've tested out a few different values, it will start to make a little bit more sense. Okie dokie. With that, let's move on to question number four. For this final question, you must write a formula to return the exam score depending on the selected student and the selected exam. To pull this off, I recommend using a combination of the index and match functions. So in cell H6, enter the formula equals index function, and then select all of the exam scores for the data range. You do this because you want to select all of the possible values that can be returned for the first argument. Now for the second argument of the index function, go ahead and enter the match function. You will use the match function to get back the row of the selected student. So for the first argument of the match function, select the lookup value, which is the selected student. And then for the second argument, select the list of all the students. And finally, enter a zero for the third argument to force the match function to search for an exact match. You can then close parentheses and then add a comma to move on to the third argument of the index function. Now, just like you did for the second argument, you will use the match function again for the third argument of the index function. This time, you will be using the match function to get back the column number of the selected exam. So for the first argument of the match function, select the chosen exam. And for the second argument, select the list of all the exams. And finally, enter a zero for an exact match. You can then close parentheses, close parentheses, and then hit enter. The first match function locates the position of the selected student, and the second match function finds the position of the selected exam. These values are then used by the index function to return the intersecting value, which is of course the exam score that you're looking for. And that officially completes question number four of your Spreadsheet Life Google Sheets challenge number three. So tell me, how did it go? Was it easy? Was it hard? Was it somewhere in the middle? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Also, I encourage you to like and subscribe if you learned something new. That being said, thanks for watching and until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.